Hi. Um, what I'd like to talk to you about today is, um, in I, I've had three rapture dreams, and um, the last one, if you'll watch them, is about the pastor where I uh, used to attend church, and um, some things that the Lord showed me would happen to him, and that uh, after that, the uh, rapture occurs. So all those things have taken place, and I prayed about it after the dream, and I asked the Lord if He meant that He was coming in this year, which I believe is, at the time I thought maybe it could be by Christmas, because there was gold Christmas garland on the walls in the church, but um, I had asked Him if He was going to return this year, and it's the Jewish year of 5772, which ends in September around the 17th, I believe, of this year, it turns to 5773. Um, and he answered me uh, with a dream uh, about uh, Scotty's song, The Rapture Video. And so I took that to mean yes. And then I, I fell asleep again, and then I had a third dream that night, and I dreamed that there was an earthquake in Los Angeles. And uh, it was 9.0 or 9.6. I, I can't really tell because I just saw the 9 point. And it looked like a 0 or a 6 or maybe even a 9. I don't know. So anyway, the freeways were all down. It was on Fox News and they said devastating earthquake. And they showed the freeways down, buildings down. It was just, it was really bad. So um, I've been asking the Lord about this for because this was back in... Uh, uh, November of last year and I've been asking him about it and about four months ago he gave me a dream as a confirmation that the that the earthquake would happen just before the rapture and uh, I dreamed that I was at my mother-in-law's house and sat down in a recliner and an earthquake happened and I woke up immediately and that's how God usually deals with me I haven't had any dreams for several weeks now and when he does give me a prophetic dream or a dream I believe is from him I wake up immediately I don't care if it's 1 o'clock in the morning 1 23 in the morning 2 o'clock in the morning 3 o'clock in the morning 4 o'clock in the morning so um, the other night I was praying this was on the first and I said Lord you know I've been fasting a little bit and I asked him I said you know in the name of Jesus I would like confirmation about the earthquake that's supposed to happen just before the rapture and I said you know, if it's possible, could you cause an earthquake here? And I live in a very small town. There hasn't been any earthquakes here in the 10 years I've lived here, and I don't believe there's any earthquakes here directly uh, forever. So um, I said, could you make an earthquake? Or, you know, I said, if that's not possible, at least have let me have a dream about an earthquake. And then I said the rest of my prayers. and and. This was at 10.30, I fell asleep, and at 11.07 that night, there was an earthquake here, in this town, 1.5 miles from my house. It's underneath a mountain that's 5,300 feet tall, is where the center of that earthquake was. So, within 30 minutes of me saying this prayer and asking God for confirmation that there will be an earthquake just before the rapture, there's an earthquake, here, at my house and answer that I believe I don't know what you guys think what a coincidence you can look on USGS and there hasn't been any earthquakes here I've looked okay then yesterday which was the second there was 14 earthquakes in the town that's right next to mine which is about six miles away 14 earthquakes and there hasn't been any in like the last 10 years so what does that mean what does that mean to you guys? The, all the nations are gathered together against Israel. Ahmadinejad had just came out and said that they want to destroy Israel. Go to Israeli news site. You can see the article yourself. All this time he says, I've never said that. But then he turns around and says it. And then he says, no, I didn't mean that. And then he turns around and says it again. All these nations are against Israel. Syria, Turkey. This Saudi Arabia, all these places are against Israel because they stand for the one true God. And so the Bible says that 
when the nations are gathered against Israel and they all seek to, to destroy her, you know that that's the end of time. And the Lord is confirming, to me at least, that there's going to be an earthquake, I believe in Los Angeles, and I believe it's going to be above 9 or at 9 on the Richter scale. And that will occur just before the rapture takes place. So what are the odds? What's the probability that an earthquake would strike within one and a half miles of my house within 30 minutes of me, of my prayer, and that it strikes on a place that isn't a fault zone underneath a mountain. It was 2.2 kilometers underneath this mountain, this 5,300 and something foot mountain. So uh, just amazing that that would happen. And I think the odds are astronomical. So God is moving. There's jets flying over right now. They're practicing for this war that's going to take place. Iran, the Ayatollah said, we'll be in war within the next few weeks with the United States and Iran. I mean, the United States and uh, Israel. So we know that uh, the time is growing short. So mm -hmm. repent and uh, tell all of your loved ones to repent. And you Christian brothers and sisters, love you one another as Christ did. And tell these people with love, not with anger or with fear, but, but about love. The Lord is coming and He's proven things through His Word and through dreams and through visions. So um, He's given hundreds of us visions that He's coming. And um, I just want you to be, you know, have some joy in your life that the Lord is returning soon. I believe very soon so um, lift up your heads and uh, think about that what do you think the odds of, a, of, a, of an earthquake happening 30 minutes after I ask the Lord to con confirm the earthquake that I saw in my dream an actual earthquake happens here and then the next day 14 more so what do you think I want you to um, say a prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne in the name of Jesus, and we ask you to allow your blessings to come upon our lives, and we ask that you open our eyes and our understanding so that we can feel your spirit. God, we ask that you give us peace and that you help us witness to those in our families because the time is growing short and many we know according to your word will be left behind to suffer the tribulation period. So, Father, help us in the name of your Son to witness to our loved ones and to the world in these last few hours. In Jesus' name, amen.